Hey there guys, Blizz900 here with RWBI Blake's Adventure Visual Novel. Today we're going to be doing Chapter 2, Dark Matter and Training. Thank you and enjoy the story. Blake, are you okay? What happened? We were attacked by some unknown creature, Ruby. What? Unknown creature? Or wait, unknown creature? You were attacked by Grimm, right? No, Ruby. This is different. They came out like... They came out of the shadows like ghosts. Alright, Blake, calm down. You're not helping yourself, Blake. Ruby comes over to catch Blake as she is about to fall to the ground. She puts her arm around her shoulder, with you holding her up on the other side. Let me see that wound, Blake. Ruby takes a look at the gash Blake has across her stomach, blood coming out of it. Come on, we need to get you to the nurse's office, Blake, to stop that bleeding of yours. Ruby takes Bla Blake out to the nurse's office to get her wound healed up, while you stay and hang out in the dining hall. I probably should go visit her later and see how she's doing. I do worry about her. Oh, you're a you're a right, Flu 900. I think so, Yang. What happened out there, Flu 900? I forgot. I had a voice for her. Some shadow monsters came out of nowhere and, and started to attack me and Blake. I don't even know what to do. I panicked, Yang, and somehow was able to kill the last monster, Yang. I'm lucky to even be alive right now. I'm glad you're okay and not injured, like Blake is right now. You must be having a strange first day, huh? You said it, Yang. Nailed it. Blast walks up to that walks up to next to Yang to hear the conversation that's going on. What are you two talking about? What's all the commotion? Did you hear what happened, Wes? No. What happened? It's been a very strange day already for me, Wes. These creatures came out of thin air like a shadow and started attacking Blake and me. Then my scars started glowing and a weapon appeared. It was a black handgun, Wes. I shot the last grand monster that was attacking me, attacking Blake and me with my new gun. With it, then it dis yeah, disintegrates into ash with my scar returns to normal. Does, anyone know, does anybody know what's going on here? None of this makes any sense to me at all. I wish someone could help me out here. What did you kids do now? Always making messes that I have to clean up later. Glinda. Who are you? My name is Glinda Goodwitch. I'm a professor at this school, and that's Glinda to you. Hello, Glinda. My name is Floofs900. You're new here, aren't you, Floofs900? Yes, I am, Glinda. I've had a very strange day today. Maybe you could tell me what is happening to me. Why is this happening to me? Here, take a seat and explain your and explain your story to me, Floofs900. You two kids get, get on to class now, Yang Zhao Wong and Miss West Shanae, while I talk to your new classmate. Yang and West walk off together with West running to get to class. She's not going to be late again because of distractions. Why don't you start from the beginning, please, 900? Okay, then. It, it will all started today. I fell from the sky yesterday, hit some tree in the forest, a forever fall. Then Blake found me in the forest, and that's how I got here to this school. Professor Austin is the one who accepted me into this academy. The next day was normal, until these grim creatures came out, of, came out like a shadow appearing and started attacking me and Blake. I was scared and didn't know what to do. Blake was injured from one of the grim creatures. She got slashed by one when she ran out of ammo for a gun, which then I found out I had super I had superpowers. I can materialize objects slash weapons with this black spear that I get from my scar on my right hand, but it has to be going for it to work. I think that how I think that's how it works. Very interesting indeed. Can I see your hand, please, nine hundred? Sure. You show her your scar on your right hand. That's incredible. I just hope Blake will be okay. She'll be fine, Flucy900. I just checked on her with Ruby. Want a cookie? I just made them. You quickly grab some cookies off the plate that's freshly been warm. Yes, please. I'll. It will relieve some of the stress that I've been having today. And thank you, Professor. You're welcome, Flucy900. I'll have one too. Your cookies are the best, Austin. Finally, some good news. That makes me feel a little better. Whatever happened today is strictly your own business, Flucy900. It's up to you to solve this mystery, Flucy900. That leaves me one question to ask you, Fleece 900. Are you ready to become a hunter or huntress and fight the evil forces that are out in the world, Fleece 900? Yes, Professor. I'm ready to fight for what's right. I'm ready, Professor. I think I can do it. But I need time to practice my new powers. Good. I'm glad to hear it, Fleece 900. We can work your new powers in time. There's no need to rush into things so fast now, Fleece 900. Over time, you'll be able to control your powers by yourself. We'll begin your training tomorrow, Fleece 900. Congratulations, Fleece 900. I'm become a hunter or huntress. I'll be looking forward to see 
what you can do with that skull in your hand. Glenda and Professor Ospin leave the dining hall, leaving you alone by yourself. So what's next? Since I'm now a huntsman slash huntress. I know. I should check on Blake to see how she's doing. I sure hope she's okay. You run off upstairs to check on Blake, leaving the dining hall completely empty. End of chapter two. Ah, yes. So things are definitely heating up, guys. I'm sad that Blake got hurt, but, you know, I guess it had to happen. You know, whatever. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm trying to get through this decently at a brisk pace, I should say, because... There's a second game coming out, I know, and I want to be able to finish all of this, so I can definitely jump into that soon after, like, just a day or two after it releases, if not the same day the guy releases it, because I really want to play that one too, and I hate to play them both at the same time, considering that I may get spoilers for this story. So anyway, guys, that's why I'm trying to get through this. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, please. And please, if you don't mind, share my videos. It helps me out as a small YouTuber. I really do appreciate that. Really, it means a lot to me if you help me. And I will catch all of you guys later. See ya.